There's a lot of stuff going on here, isn't there? Well, my rock tumbler is sitting empty right now, and I thought it'd be a fun opportunity to make some sea glass. So, here's some sea glass that I made in my first attempt. Looks pretty good. It's kind of big. You know, if you found that out of the ocean, you'd be pretty excited. I want to make some more realistic looking sea glass and tumble some more interesting things. I live nowhere near the ocean. Well, it's a six and a half hour drive or so. So I'm going to be smashing up some stuff here. Let's go, kind of go over some of this. First off, I got this thick purple, you can see how thick that is, this big purple piece of uh, glass here. It's like some type of vase thing. Came from a, a thrift store. <clears throat> also have this, which I think smashing up some of this could get some neat pieces out of it. Same with a couple of bottles. This stuff's kind of thin, so I'm excited about that. These right here, these blue chunks, are from a glass bell insulator like you'd have on an old telephone line. Got some marbles. You can find, people do find marbles out there for sea glass. Uh, I'm not going to find any, so let's make some. One of the problems I came with, came across with this stuff, this is just a, a wine bottle, I believe, something like that, is it's a little too perfect. It's very smooth. I believe when I first did this, which was a couple of years ago, I just tumbled the glass by itself, um, nothing in it, just to see as a test. So... This time around, I'm going to be adding some 6090 grit to the tumbler. I'm also going to be throwing in some quartz gravel uh, and a, just a couple of other rocks to kind of break it up and maybe generate some more of those scratches and have some glass that has more of a natural appearance to it. So uh, I'm going to put my safety squints on and grab the hammer, smash this stuff up, and we'll kind of pick and choose what's going to make it its way into the tumbler. So here's what we have. Um, this piece here that I thought was purple is actually clear and that's just a little purple coating on there. So we'll be kind of picking and choosing here. Definitely all of the marbles are going in. All of these rocks are going in help break up the, sh the, the tumble. So kind of what I think was going on is when you tumble just this really thin glass here, this is what happens in the tumbler. It starts to stack like that and it doesn't, well, it doesn't roll. Um, so hopefully all of these different shapes and stuff and some rocks kind of break up the mix. Definitely throw this actual all blue glass in there. This will abrade your tumblers, so keep that in mind. Glass is really hard. This was kind of neat. This is a the top of that beer bottle, so maybe that will not fully shatter in there, and that could be kind of a cool one. I'm gonna throw these bottle bottle edges in, some color. Some different shapes. Maybe I'll keep those aside. That's the top of that little little jar. So then we should pick some of the bigger pieces out of the purple. That's a pretty thick one. You know, and, and kind of like doing rocks, we are only going to fill up our tumbler, well, probably two-thirds of the way. You can see there that it's a clear piece, so. What doesn't get thrown in this one will get used eventually. That's kind of a neat piece. That's also a neat one. I think that's good for, for that. Let's look at this here. So don't want to throw in some giant piece like that, but that could be cool. Some of the textures on these. I like that. That's kind of that almost pineapple look to it and the curve that'll definitely go in i don't want to put too much of that stuff in we want this to look well 
as natural as we can possibly get it. It's kind of a long one, that's neat. That as well. So I think we're we're coming up to good enough here pretty soon. Mm. That's a neat one. And I guess I'll throw in a couple more of these since we're getting all these big weird shapes. Maybe they'll come out kind of cooler. So yeah, there's just a, I'm kind of showing you, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about putting this stuff together like that. So I think we're good here. That's what I have. So I'm gonna fill it up with water just to the point where it's, oh, just under the, the level here. And I'm gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of 6090 grit. And I'm gonna probably tumble this for about three days and I'll pop the camera back on and we'll give this a, a look-see and look at, our, look at our glass. So it has been 24 hours. Let's look at what's going on with this glass. Ooh, a little bit of, a little bit of leakage. Look at that. That looks really good. Some of the stuff. Oh, uh, you know, it's only been 24 hours, but I think, uh, I, th I think this is good. Let's uh, take like this blue piece here. Let's rinse this off in some water. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Well, just for funsies, I'm gonna go dump this out. I'm surprised it only took that amount of time. Let's kind of dig in here some. Yeah, these are some good looking pieces. So I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm gonna dump this into a screen and uh, Give it a good rinse. We get to look at this at the same time together. Get all of this stuff out of here. Let's look at this. That's pretty cool. stuff came out real nice. I'm gonna wash all of this and I will see you back on the bench. So here's what we're looking at. I think uh, some of this came out well. So these marbles here, these are a little too perfect, I think. So we don't want something to be flawless. Like, if you see a marble that comes out of the sea, they're kind of oblong. Um, this is not going to cut it for that. Some of these pieces that are green, still a little gritty, um, are eh, semi-acceptable. I've seen things like this um, broken bottle top before. So, mm, that's a maybe for that. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. So then on to some of the better stuff. I think that looks pretty legitimate. People would probably identify that as a glass insulator bell. People that are into sea glass are, well, they're really into it. Some of these other pieces, like that, that's pretty good. I think that would absolutely pass. The purple little vase thing um, didn't uh, get all of the fake purple off of it. There's some good ones though. 
I have a feeling that if I was to take some photos of this, really clean them really well, see things like that with the bubbles in it, people would believe that this is real sea glass. So let me know what your thoughts are. But if you wanted to make somewhat legitimate looking sea glass, I think this would be the process that you'd want to go through. I kind of like that topper. The topper is pretty cool. It's very heavy. So as always, thanks for watching my videos. I hope you learned something from this, you know, so uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I don't normally make stuff like this, but like I said, you know, the rock tumbler was sitting idle, so I wanted to try my hand at it. And uh, hopefully the next thing that you see will be a rock hounding adventure video. Have a good night.